6.43 now on a Sunday morning, which is starting out partly cloudy and really quite mild considering the time of year. That's the view from Community Banks of Colorado and Monuments. And uh, looking over the mountains, you don't see as much cloud cover as you'll notice if you look east of the mountains. And that's an indication of mountain wave clouds in the area this morning. Most areas in eastern Colorado are a little bit cooler as you head away from the mountains. We're talking about some 30s, and that's also true in Pueblo, but closer to the mountains, a lot of 40s. We've even had a few neighborhoods hovering in the lower 50s around Colorado Springs this morning. Future cast shows probably a good bit of cloud cover today. I don't think it's picking up on as much of it as we'll have this morning, but it does start to show it thickening up here through the afternoon. I think it's fair to say we'll have more clouds than sun today, though we're not going to be completely overcast. We're also going to see the wind pick up as we move into the afternoon. Uh, southeasterly wind today across the plains running between 10 and 20 miles an hour with occasional gusts a little higher than that. We'll probably have more of a westerly wind up across the mountains as the influence of this little cold front won't be felt there. So not a lot of change in temperature over the mountains as compared to yesterday with a mixture of 60s and 70s. But we're probably not going to see the widespread 80s across the plains today. In fact, the easternmost counties will likely remain in the 60s. So it'll be noticeably cooler, though still pretty warm considering the time of year. I think along the I-25 corridor, though it may take a little while longer in some cases to get there, we should eventually get temperatures up into the 70s today. Future cast tonight, again, showing a good bit of cloud cover. You see a little green flash here and there on the map indicating there could be some sprinkles, but really that's going to be moisture up in the clouds more than we're expecting precipitation. So just some clouds around tonight. Uh, it looks like as we head into tomorrow morning, those may thin out a little bit, at least temporarily. Another mild night for many of us along the I-25 corridor with temperatures probably hovering in the 40s. Low-lying areas farther east may dip back into the 30s, and you still find some 20s if you get up into the mountains and across some of the high mountain valleys. But the, even there this time of year, that's pretty nice. Real pretty sunrise right now as seen from our Vieira Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network camera at Cedar Point. It's always nice to have some clouds out there when you can get the sun kind of lighting them up from underneath. And a little bit hard to see the wind turbines spin in there, but they are. Sun's blinding it just a little bit. Now, we'll have more warmth around tomorrow, but probably more opportunities for fire weather concerns as well. And that's in advance of some colder air, which is going to keep us windy. It's going to bring a mixture of rain and snow to the area. And we will talk about that in our extended forecast coming up soon. Riley, back to you.